today we're going to weave some electronics into this weaving loom. So to do the setup on the loom, what we need to do is put the battery carrier on the bottom and then stick it down with conductive tape and run that conductive tape all the way up the side so that we can attach the wires to it. When you're using the conductive tape, it's easier if you don't cut the white. Just cut the silver and let the white continue as a strip. That means that when you're finding the end of the tape, it's a lot easier. So there we have our frame ready to start weaving. We've got the battery carrier at the bottom. We've got conductive crepe tape across the bottom and up both sides. So to start weaving, we leave a tail that's about an inch or two. And then we just start threading the wool back and forth through the strings on the weaving loom. There's a number of techniques that you can use to do this, whatever's easiest, as long as it goes back and forth through the strings, it's fine. When you get to the edges, this is a leave in weaving loom. So we actually go around the black lines at the edge and that helps us to have a really straight line. After each line or every couple of lines, just move the, all of the wool down to the bottom and make it nice and tight on the bottom of the loom. So now we're going to make a fringe on the bottom of the loom. We've done one row and then we're just going to make a fringe. You sometimes see this in weaving. The way we do it is we take a reasonably short piece of wool, fold it in half and then make a, a loop that you put its own ends through. So you make a loop and then take the ends and pass them through and pull them down. And it makes a fringe like effect. It's up to you whether you use a fringe or not, and you can use it at any point in the loom. You can use it down the bottom, but you can use it higher up if you like to. With this fringe, we've gone round two strings at a time. You can go round two strings, you can go round three strings, you can go round one string if you want to. It's really up to you. Make sure that the fringe is on the front and that when you're starting, it's on the back again. So leave that tail and then start going back and forth. With this one, we went through two previously. So now we're actually separating them again, back to going under and over single strands. around the black section and then in and out between each of the strands. And push it down again. It's 
good to remember which will be the front and which will be the back of your loom so that you make sure that all of your fringes go at the front and all your tails go at the back just so that it looks neat at the, on the front and pushing it down to the bottom back and forth So here's a slightly different technique, having one hand in front and one hand behind. You can just do whatever's easiest, it doesn't matter. And you can go over a number of strings at a time. You can go one at a time, but you can go several at a time if you'd like to. It doesn't matter, they all give slightly different effects to the weaving in the end. And again, to finish off, just leave the tail at the back. Pushing it down to the bottom. I'm starting a new colour. Just leave that tail again and then weaving in and out. Okay, so now we're going in and out between two. So now we're going to put a wire in. When we put the wire in, the most important thing to do is make sure that the red wire is on the plus side. So the red wire must go to the plus side. If you don't do that, it will not work. And then what we I generally do is put the LED where I want it to be, somewhere towards the middle. And then I just weave the wire back and forward through the strings just as if it was a piece of wool. And we make sure that the LED faces outwards onto the front so that you'll be able to see it nice and clearly.
And then we use a short piece of conductive tape to attach the ends of the wire to the frame. So again, we need to make sure that the plus side is the red wire as we tape it down with a piece of conductive tape, plus side red. And then the negative side or the minus side must be on the black side. So the black side to negative. And we just tape it down with a little piece of wire, a little piece of conductive tape, sorry. And then we can continue weaving. Now, if we put the battery in with the plus side out, and turn it on, we have a light showing up in our weaving, so where the wire went through. That'll look really fantastic when it's going, when it's all completed. Okay, so we've turned off the battery. And continue weaving up the loom. So here what we're doing is a slightly different technique where we actually do a loop around each of the strings. And it just gives a different texture to the weaving. It makes them interesting. So in addition to weaving with wool, we can also use materials such as lace and weave with those as well. Exactly the same technique, we just leave a couple of inches end on it and then weave in and out. When we're working with it, we just continue to push it down as if it was working with wool. And it just provides a different look, feel and texture to the weaving.
Now we're going to put in our second line. The main thing again is that the red wire is to the plus side. So just weave it through as if it was a piece of wool. And the black wire goes to the negative side. Make sure that the LED is facing outwards. Yep, there it is, it's facing outwards. And then we'll use a piece of conductive tape to stick the red wire down to the positive side. And the black wire down to the negative side. Then we just continue weaving up the line. So once you get to the top of the loom, you can turn it over and turn the battery on and you'll, you'll be able to see your lights working in your weaving. <laughs> 